So the next theme is around scoring. Um, and so some of the, you know, obviously people want to understand um, what the score is scoring is based on, um, but also why it might fluctuate day to day. So I think we should anchor on, um, you know, what is the scoring based on? Uh, Corey, maybe you can kind of walk us through on the scoring for a train session and then um, start us off on scoring with the assess module as well. Sure. Um, yeah, so I mean, scoring, um, I think lots of people have questions around what does my score mean? Um, lots of interest in 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 scoring. And I think it's kind of um it's kind of a necessary evil in some ways, um, because it's easy to sort of get caught up in the analytical of of what is it, but but you know, let's take some time and let's let's dive in a little bit on scoring. Um so First off, the, the score you see and the graph you see at the end of a training session um, is, is based on your on your biomarkers. Um, it's based on the, the sort of power level of the frequency that you're training. Um, it's, it incorporates streak and, and some other um, metrics, but it's all it's all based on your um, your data um, throughout the session. Um, I would say one of the most helpful things is is to be able to look at the chart and to be able to see how the um, the graph is kind of going up and down, and you're able to sort of allocate that to sort of you know, hey, I was I was really focused, I had a great streak, um, or you know, my my kid walked in the room and distracted me, and my my score dropped off, and it took me a while to recover. Um, you'll be able to see that quite clearly um, in the graph. Um, and then, and then I would say again, I think we touched on this a little bit uh, earlier, but um, you know, different time of day, different levels of tiredness, um, maybe whether you've had you know coffee or or other things, all those things are going to impact your your score. Um, and then, and then another sort of high level on the on the training score is um, we are planning uh, sometime later this year to um to sort of do a, a sort of score distribution analysis and and um run sort of a, a new scoring algorithm um so in particular some of the some of the training programs um sort of the range of scores uh is is more narrow um sort of the most scores are sort of in a in a more narrow range and so when we when we do deploy that update and and recalculate scoring um you'll see more of a range um in sort of the overall score so i would say don't get too caught up i think it's it's helpful but i wouldn't get too caught up on you know my score was 300 um i think you know and and also i would say you can't necessarily take um, you know, a focus score and compare it to a comm score. Um, think about each program as its own thing um, when when you're looking at that. And I would say the other thing that's that is really helpful is 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 you know work on your flow, work on your streaks, and sort of maintaining that. That that is um, really a valuable um, thing to be able to increase. And um, you know your your ability to sort of hold hold focus and hold in state um is, is something that um is really you know like a strengthening endurance um you know think of it like running a marathon um you're not gonna be able to hold that you know streak uh you know a sprint or the the full distance right away you got to build up to it um yeah so that's kind of that's kind of high level on on scoring on training 